Before She Was Harriet by Lisa Klein Ransom, illustrated by James Ransom. Here she sits, an old woman, tired and worn, her legs stiff, her back achy. But before wrinkles formed and her eyes failed, before she reached her twilight years, she could walk for miles and see clearly under a sky lit only with stars. Before she was an old woman, she was a suffragist, a voice for women who had none in marriages, in courts, in voting booths. Before her voice became soft and raspy, it was loud and angry, rising above injustice. Before she was a suffragist, she was General Tubman, rising out of the fog, armed with courage, strong in the face of rebels and planters and overseers, as they watched fields burn and bridges fall and 700 slaves stop chopping and start running to a woman who ferried them to freedom on the Combahee River turned River Jordan. Before she was General Tubman, she was a Union spy carrying secrets across battlefields to soldiers fighting in the Civil War for President Lincoln to end slavery. Before she was a Union spy, she was a nurse caring for those hit with bullets and hatred and fear tending to them with bandages and words in the bloody dirt of Southern soil. Before she was a nurse, she was Aunt Harriet, daughter of Ben and Rit, who helped her parents flee their master and find their way through woods and streams to the safety of Canada and a new home in the North. Before she was Aunt Harriet, she was Moses, a conductor on an underground railroad with no trains, and no tracks, just passengers traveling to freedom, up north, through swamps, past slave catchers, across rivers, under the cover of night. Seeking the promised land for her people, led by dreams and God and faith, a wisp of a woman with the courage of a lion. Before she was Moses, she was Minty of Maryland, of one slave owner and then others who worked her, punished her with lashes, broke her back, but not her spirit. Before she was Minty, she was Araminta, a young girl, taught by her father to read the woods and the stars at night, readying for the day. She'd leave behind slavery along with her name and pick a new one, Harriet, and remember her days as a suffragist, as a general, as a spy, as a nurse, as Aunt Harriet, as Moses, as a conductor, as Minty, as Araminta, who dreamed of living long enough to one day be old, stiff and achy, tired and worn and wrinkled and free.